swim in Windermere and we decided to go for a pint and we were sitting Eagle outside the Eagle and Child yeah. in Stavely and uh, we suddenly realised we could actually swim home from Stavely to our house. Just about, a couple of walkable bits, one, one or two dangerous drops but just about. Yeah, so that was the first time we thought it might be nice to do a journey along the Kent kind of thought of it as a summertime event and then we thought about going from street to sea. The Kent Stars sort of put Kentmere Reservoir, uh, you've got Kentmere Tarn, um, Stavely, Burnside, through Kendall, downstream into the Morecambe Estuary. About 20 miles. Getting into the far end was like a Kentmere res reservoir, clear water, and then it went to this flat, leafy, twiggy <laughs> thing, and then it got deeper again. And our swimming style had to change. We were literally doing the crawl. Right. <laughs> well, it was all my dad's fault, really. He was 
10 times county butterfly champion from the age of about 18 through to the age of about 34. Swimming in the 70s during the power crisis, <laughs> you'd be in a swimming pool and the lights would go out, the coaches would get flashlights out and you'd have to get out of the pool and get changed with torches and it was blooming freezing. <laughs> An advantage of swimming down rivers is that you get to see more birds, especially swallows and swifts, as the season progresses, whizzing over your head, which is really quite exciting. Swimming in a river is different from swimming in a lake. Things go by more quickly, and you have to be a little bit more careful about obstacles. I love swimming quietly down a peaceful river. I love the green and yellow bubbles in fast moving water. Water colours change from being crystal clear where you can see the bottom to peak brown or murky green. I really do like the change in temperature as the seasons progress because for someone as thin as me, even with a good wetsuit on, I do feel the cold. Ten years ago I had cancer. After chemotherapy I ended up with pain in my legs. And I just found cold water swimming really helped. Those times when you're sitting in a pub, having a pint, thinking about, wouldn't it be a good idea to go and do this? If you actually get on with it and do it, you'll find that you do have a really good time. I lay on an island coast, and all my souls I see are ghosts. I run through a wooded island, chase the sunlight mile left mile. I lie on a starlit sky and the seasons change in a blink of an eye. I watch as the planets turn and the old stars die and the young stars burn. But I don't really know this place and it's lonesome here in the wild of space. Can it be as real as it seems that this time I won't wake from the dream? The icy entrance to the water soon goes and then you start adapting to the cold and then you start feeling comfortable and then your body relaxes then you really start to enjoy it and it's not until afterwards when you're out and you're changed that you start feeling really cold. Being a climber, I kind of felt like the, the, the swim across Kentmere Reservoir was a bit like approaching an ice climb because you know it was going to be cold, it was going to be demanding, 
but when you finished it you're going to feel really good about it and that was one of the highlights of the whole swim for me. I think for me as well Kentmere was a highlight and it was really cold and it was our first big swim in the Kent um, so it was challenging and getting up there and getting changed and then getting changed back that was really cold but it was great and the day we had was great we've been so lucky with the weather the Kent's imparted to me it's been my own personal swimming pool and adventure playground and now I know it from top to bottom I know lots more places where I can swim it's reconnected me with my swimming history heritage as a teenager I was a swimmer and in latter years I drifted away from it and I now feel like I'm a swimmer again. I've just about come to terms with cold water, only just. I do embrace it a little bit more than I used to. <laughs>